Winter greetings from everybody here at the Anticus family. We have a fantastic February and we're really going to enjoy showing you the new things that are coming in. We have uh, my new release. This is Carol Shelby and Ken and Peter Miles from the, you may have seen the Ford vs. Ferrari movie. And it's the newest piece here uh, in the gallery that I've created. So I titled this From Passion to Legacy talking about the legacies that we have, and, and it was featured at the Barrett-Jackson auction here, so getting a lot of interest in the piece. There's a limited edition of 66, and this is now available to be ordered today. And really proud and excited to share this piece with you. So come by and see it, and I'll tell you the whole story. For our gold palette art walk that the, all of the galleries here in Scottsdale feature, it's going to be Western Week for our first Thursday of February. So who else to feature but my father, Ken Payne, who was one of the top Western bronze sculptors in the United States, had an amazing body of work. So I pulled together a few pieces you may not have seen before, come hear the stories, and let's honor the legacy. 10 years now since he passed, but we're so excited that his art and everything is still here with us. Traveling Europe and being part of the European setting is something that so many of us have fond memories around and nobody captures it the way Scott Wallace does. If you haven't gotten to meet him in person yet, he'll be in the gallery for our second Thursday of the month. And you're gonna get to really see the warm colors, the impasto style, like the range of techniques that he uses and getting to hear what comes behind the stories, you're gonna have a fantastic night. We love empowering our team members here to take on things that they're excited about that they think will inspire the community. So we're really proud to have Megan. Um, we'll be starting our Young Adult Book Club. This is gonna be starting with the book Beach Read by Emily Henry. It's for people 18 to 25, and it should be a really, really fun night bringing us all back into those fun reads that just get us all talking together around the water cooler. Then we move into Paul Newman, The Extraordinary Life of an Ordinary Man. It's him kind of wanting to set the record straight and writing a memoir for his kids so that they would understand him and his viewpoints and how he lived. And of course, he was an icon in the United States, so getting to hear his story and know about him. And then for the Women's Book Club, they're reading, I'm Glad My Mom Died. It's a young girl who goes through such a traumatic childhood, having to weigh herself five times a day by the age of six and calorie restrictions and a lot of just really difficult things that she had to overcome and a really beautiful read to kind of see how we overcome that and create lemonade from lemons so wonderful read we look forward to seeing the book club we know a lot of people rely on us for information on the new releases that come from dr seuss it was an entire collection that was archived and a lot of it i've never seen before so we get to unveil a brand new release this february and just share everything with you that's coming from the art of Dr. Seuss. So come see the new release. And of course, we gotta do a little bit of horsing around. The Arabian Horse Show's in town, so we get to feature that night. The amazing work of Seth Gordon, a local Arizona artist who does fabulous pieces that use metallics and iridescent paints that just change dramatically in different kinds of light. Come meet the artist, hear about the technique. These guys are two of my favorite people. Got Dennis Doyle and Kristen. They're from Nevada, two of the top photographers in the United States, in my opinion. Absolutely love their work. And these guys have built Anticus into what it is. They've been with me since day one and before. They've helped me build the walls, the shelves, and they are amazing, amazing photographers. Come hear the techniques and hear about their trips. They did some amazing new work this year as they traveled the country looking for iconic spots. Just, you don't wanna miss that conversation. Of course, you know, we love opening our doors up for private events, and we have a number of them booked for February. You can check our closed times, and here's the dates uh, on the screen as well, when we won't be open to the public, thanks to these beautiful, beautiful private events that uh, hopefully we'll get to see some of you at. We love using this space to connect people, using the art to start conversations. So if you or your company would like to have a private event here, always feel free to reach out to us. We would love to see what we can do. And just come see us in the month of February.